Whereas everybody says, you know, oh, I missed this, I missed that. I haven't missed anything. Those of you that want to come up with your own conclusions and then think I missed it, those of you that are thinking we missed it now on September 24th, you better go pray about it because we thwarted evil and a portal got opened. There's a lot of people out there that say their prophets of God and they're not right. They're not right on. They've missed it here, 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 and they just keep moving forward, but they're not right on. Hello and welcome everyone. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, this video is part two of this video, which uh, covers Lois Vogel Sharp and her 2022 Texas gathering. Uh, it goes over the claims that she said was going to happen and it goes over the event itself and, and all that. This video is going to cover the aftermath of what happened afterward. I see it as a preview of her Florida conference that's coming up in April. So just trying to warn some people about this conference. Doing the research for this video, I've came across a, a couple more things and one of them I find very disturbing and that'll be a video on its own. And also if somebody's looking to my videos on a certain investigation, um, I will have a couple of updates about a biodome and um, somebody on the payroll. But uh, that, that that's coming later. Uh, let's get into this. We had 650 people basically that were registered for lunch and dinners to eat there and to be there that day. And we had 300 that showed up. Now, she says 300 here, and uh, she's about to push a narrative where that 300 is supposed to be important. But uh, during the research, there's a lot of times where she said near 300, or we had almost 300 people there. So who knows the exact number? Which means the ministry paid for all those meals for the people that didn't show up. Meanwhile, 300 didn't show up. So what do I do with 300 extra meals? They had to buy the food, so we had to pay the bill. It was $3,165 that this ministry had to pay extra because of the people that just didn't come there. So I asked the father on my way home, what do you feel about this father that they didn't show up and we paid for these meals? I told you I would pay your way for lunch and dinner that day. And the fee that was charged, I told you just to show up and I would pay the bill so you could fulfill the mission of thwarting evil and all his upheaval. To you, it did not matter. Money thrown in the garbage. It was my money that got thrown off the truck. Add it all up. The money thrown off the bus. When you wonder why you have lack, remember the money that fell off the bus in the sack, which was thousands of dollars, and none of you bothered to even think of how much of my money you let get thrown away when there was all this food to pay. You now all owe me the money for the day and you owe me the money that got thrown away because you ordered meals and was supposed to be there that day. I'm not condemning you. He's the one saying you did air. So tell him you're sorry. And he's telling you to pay up and he's telling you to pay up and he's telling you to pay up. That's $19. Each of you that was going there for lunch and dinner, you owe the ministry $19. That's what he's saying. But he's still telling you people to send them back the money. Now, remember that Texas gathering was supposed to bring about miracle signs and wonders. Uh, things were going to change. Evil thwarted. And all of this stuff. All this magical stuff was supposed to happen and didn't. And this is what she's talking about. I want to close the case about the conference. But what he said was those that ditched him and didn't show up that said they were going to show up and ordered lunch and dinner. He said he wanted it paid back. That's what he said. I didn't say it. I would have never have written that. You have to understand who's speaking. Just like I'm talking to you right now, but it's the Holy Spirit urging you. But the Holy Spirit, the Father said that they owe him that money because they didn't do the right thing. I only share what the Father gives me. The poems come out. He gives them to me. So I want to end it. I'm not discussing it anymore. I don't need apologies. I don't want a thousand emails from all of you that didn't show up. Just do the right thing, what he said to do. You can send checks in the mail here. We have PayPal up there. We have, we have the website up there. We have the uh, email up there. Info is on every video. 
I put great effort into writing every name down. I have every name and every lunch and dinner of every person that was coming to that event. I'm just wondering if she's going to uh, track these people down, send them emails, you better pay. I'm just wondering. Now, after she got uh, some pushback on what she was saying through her videos, she's saying that she's not saying it, that God's saying it through the poems that they need to pay her back. How dare you say that they should pay back the ones that didn't show up? I didn't say it, folks. That's why you can't pay the bill, they said. Newsflash. We not only paid the bill, we received more money than we even needed. Now, I'm not sure what the truth is here, but she was getting a lot of uh, bad pushback from it, and maybe it was to silence them. Uh, she was taking donations from that, so maybe she did make money. I mean, she's doing another conference, so maybe she did. I don't know. But it got accomplished because enough showed up, like the Army of Gideon. And he makes the moves on his behalf to thwart evil, confuse evil, just like he did with the army of Gideon. He confused them. Gary said it the other day on the video. Now, here's that narrative of uh, 300. She's going to say it was the Gideon's army, the, the 300. And there's going to be some weird stuff that uh, Gary's about to say. So hang on. Hi, I'm Gary W. Sharp. And Lois asked me to come on here and uh, give a couple revelations that I had kind of neat if we had Gideon's 300 there and so it actually happened he asked them to go down the river and when they went to the river and they drank from the river there were those who got on their knees and lapped like dogs from the water he told them to go home there was 300 left that actually lapped with their hands so if you didn't go to this conference, you were not picked. And also you lapped like dogs. Got it, Gary. So relating to the conference, these 300 people that stayed, they were the ones who God picked to be there, okay? The other ones were home, okay? What did they do, okay? So this is a revelation I got. They lapped up the stream like dogs. They didn't think it important enough to be there. They should have been there, but they weren't. And it wasn't just Gary saying it. Here comes Lois. All right, those that just ditched to watch live stream, you're the ones that lapped up the wrong way because you should have been there that day. Because you ditched me and Gary, I was hurt. I was hurt that you didn't show up when you told me you were coming. Personally, I got hurt. Those that showed up that day got blessed. So if you didn't go, you didn't get blessed. And then now we're going to go on some of the things she said about Spicewood, Texas, and how everything was going to change afterwards. Uh, she's going into the red wave, the red sea moment is going to be what she's referring to the 2022 midterms. Uh, it was going to go red, uh, the house, the Senate governorships, all this stuff was going to happen. And it's interesting how she uh, said this stuff and then it was in question. And then at the end, um, God didn't say which year because we're going to hit maximum copium. The video I got on the screen, uh, this covers the 2022 midterm elections and everything she said about that and what all happened there. It's not a coincidence that since Spicewood, Texas, the army of Gideon was there. When we were in Spicewood, Texas, all right, we actually did our job. And because we all obeyed the Lord and we went there and we prayed against evil, things started going in the right direction for this country right after that time frame. We rebuke in the name of Yeshua Jesus, the takeover of America. We already did it in Spicewood. We called the strongholds down. So we are moving the angelic angels forward to help bring to pass the taking back of the House and the Senate. Since that time frame of September 24th, things have all of a sudden escalated, moving in the right direction. All right? So that is what's going on right now. We have an election coming. The House and the Senate are going to be taken back. It is, it is the moment, the Red Sea moment. 
I want to make sure that since the Spice with Texas gathering, you are aware of how things are moving quickly in the right direction, in the right direction, in the right direction. Are you noticing that I am fulfilling my word of allowing evil to be thwarted so America can be set free? You all obeyed and now evil is dismayed. And as the seats go red, the Red Sea moment will flood the White House takeover. But once we take back the House and the Senate, the evil regime is stopped. They cannot do what they want to do anymore because they won't get the votes. That is a major victory. And it all happened because we went to Spice with Texas and rebuked the strongholds over America. You know, when God made a move against evil and we're seeing things happen. I mean, really moving forward. You know, they really are in the spiritual realm. You know, we have the elections coming and uh, we're taking back things. Things are going to be taken back. We're going to take back the House and the Senate and then we got control. We have to fight the good fight of faith. Like those that showed up in Texas. We were the army of Gideon and we absolutely pulled down the strongholds. That's why it's going in the right direction. We're expecting the red wave. This will be the Red Sea moment when we take back the House and the Senate. The enemy got thwarted, and things are going to get taken back in a few days. So she said this is a done deal. That It's done. That's what she said. No other way around it. She said no shenanigans, nothing. This is done deal. Now, watch the meltdown that she has in the next few days after this while they're still trying to figure all the votes out. Well, right now we're waiting to find out about the House and the Senate. I hate waiting, too. I'm the one that put it out. I think I'd feel. (laughs) Waiting, waiting, waiting. I have to stand, too, on what he said. I have to stand, too, on what he said. All he said was we're taking back the House and the Senate. That's all he basically said. So whatever way that happens and how that happens, we have to wait and see it. But it should have been a red wave. And another thing, he said he's going to take back the house and the senate he didn't specify when with that either so everything she said didn't happen i mean we're dealing with maximum copium here um and and then she ends up saying well it could be in the future it could be years and years from now (sighs) my brain hurts we thwarted evil so what we did that day was we cracked something in the spiritual atmosphere Demonic entities were taken down. Somebody put up there, oh, God, you must you must have did something wrong if these people didn't show up, blah, 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 blah. In other words, God's punishing me. Things are collapsing. They've been collapsing. Whenever prophecies don't go your way, make sure you talk about an economic collapse. We're in the collapse. It's happening. These things are all happening, happening, happening. We're in this. Father told me, Lois, you're in this. You're in this. We're in it. We are at the door of this total collapsing that's taking place. We thank you for all you're doing. We thank you that since Spicewood, Texas, things have been going in our direction. After we went to Texas, and I don't know if any of you have been noticing it, but I've been noticing it. The drastic change that took place almost immediately after we did what we did there. Because all of a sudden, Democrats started jumping on the side of the Republicans. And I've gotten prophetic words from way back saying that that was going to happen. She gives no examples of anything happening. She just said all this thing's changing and whatever. But anybody see the right and left working together for good? Just like when we went to Texas. I believe I was the Esther. Say yes to Esther. Say yes to Esther. Because that's what everybody was doing. They were saying yes to Esther. And they were meeting in Spicewood, Texas. To come against the cartel. Huh? This was a new one on me, folks. Uh, Coming against the cartel in Spicewood, Texas. Uh, But yet, she goes on to the me, 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 I'm Esther, and all of this stuff. Yeah, Roe versus Wade got overturned turned on June 24th, the day the Lord showed me. Yes, that actually happened. And no, that did not actually happen because uh, the video that's on your screen, if you go look at it, I tear apart that whole thing. It did not happen. 
And I knew 924 was going to be a significant day too. Some things did happen. All right? The British pound went down, so things happened. All the stuff that she said was going to happen. Miracles, signs, wonders, healings, and uh, the British pound went down. Um, anyway, uh, here she goes. Enough people started complaining, I guess, and she went on a meltdown. Because every time you point at somebody and call them a false prophet, you are pointing your finger at God. Oh, yeah, but you said it was going to be the Red Sea moment, blah, blah. So somebody makes a mistake. So what? So what? They didn't mean any harm by it. She didn't mean any harm. Oh, this is the date. I think this is going to happen and it doesn't happen. They didn't mean any harm. They're just trying to help. Yeah, but they screw us up. Yeah, I know. It screws you up. That's what we got to watch. What we say. Absolutely. And if somebody's putting opinions out there and time dates that they think these things are going to happen, you can't take that as a... Uh, God Almighty speaking. The nerve of this lady. You gotta take it as an opinion. And then make your judgment accordingly if you want to. But you're gambling. Sounds like she's blaming uh, you for believing. Liar, liar. Pants on fire. And when you're a true prophet of the Lord, your life really cannot be ignored because things happen that are so unbelievable that you just tell somebody and they look at you in awe. Um, yeah. I don't think we're gonna have 300 the next one. I, I'm thinking minimum probably 30,000, you know. So let's finish off here um, yeah. with the last piece of the puzzle, some prophetic words. And I'm gonna put this on the screen here because these were your words. And this is what we, you know, some of the key things and the bullet points that we should be expecting here. So it'll be a time of healing. The left and the right will come together. How crazy is that? Yeah. yeah. A miracle will shine because evil is thwarted. Gold and silver will rise so high, we will mm. all be surprised. Mm. The black member, evil does what? Divide and conquer, right? So the left and the right will come together as one. No more division, right? The blacks and the whites will finally embrace from place to place. Mm. 45 will be back. The mm -hmm. shells will be bare with nothing to spare. But peace will come across the land and we will no longer be in sinking sand. America will come back and stay on track. Amen. We will be welcomed everywhere. There will be revival. There will be no denial. Wow. Oh, baloney. Uh, done, a, done a hit there. Okay, uh, this next part coming up, uh, I'm working on a video about this, the origin of it. I found it while researching all this stuff, and I, I find it very disturbing. But here's a, a sneak peek at uh, her ladder rain hitting the roof. And the next video, we'll, uh, we'll go in breaking this all down of how her mind works, and it's, it's disturbing. But those that were there, it changed our lives, all of us. Our lives got changed from that moment. We saw the power of God. I witnessed the light of rain. I saw it with my own eyes. I saw a downpour while we were at them. When I was on the stage, I saw a downpour out the front door. And I kept looking and saying to myself, is it raining out there? And then not everybody heard this, but I heard such a heavy rain hit the roof that it was almost deafening. And you have written to me and said, I heard that too. It was a deafening like rain hitting a roof, a metal roof. Yeah. So God was showing us the ladder rain. And then of course there was a rainbow. Somebody got the picture of the rainbow, which he told me there was going to be a rainbow. So things happened. So that was uh, the aftermath of her Texas event in 2022 and uh, all the stuff she promised and nothing. It was sad. But uh, make sure you get the tickets to her Florida event in April. So there's that. But thanks everybody for stopping by and everybody have a good day. Like prophecies going the opposite direction, like prophetic words of this and it, what actually happened was this and And those of you that think now you have your little quest to go on my Rumble channel and say what you have to say, 
You better back off in the name of Jesus because the Father doesn't like it. It's not your quest in life to put me down. Touch my anointed and do my prophets no harm. Because you're wrong in everything that you're saying. Because you're not seeing it spiritually. 